Right, hello everybody. One of the things that I've been talking about yeah. previously is clothes and clothes shops. Yes. And as we approach our... As you approach 40s. Prime age. As I'm already in my 40s. Already in the 40s. As I approach 40, I have felt a difference with shops that I feel are for me and shops that aren't for me. Yes. So we're going to go through the shops. And, and, and we're going to just, this is in our opinion. Our opinion. Some people might love these shops and the clothes that are in them, but in, in our opinion, yeah. it's it, no is good. it for us or not? Yeah. Fact. So it's awesome or awful. Awesome or awful. So we're going to name shop. So the first one is Top Shop. Awesome. Awesome Top Shop? Awesome. Most is of it. Is Top Shop, it's marketed to the younger age, isn't it? It is. But there is some stuff in there. I agree. And I think you have to search. And it's I not agree. all for the woman who's 40-something. Yes, I would say awesome. Okay. Do you think you still feel okay going in there? Oh, I love it. When I do now, in the future, I don't know. I'm not sure I'd walk in there at 50. No, I'm not. But I suppose that depends on what I look like when I'm 50. Exactly. Because if Jennifer Aniston walked in there, because she's not 50, you know what I mean, but she's an older 40, I'd make 40. I actually she's said to my boyfriend, so much younger. I said to my John the other day, I said, we were talking about, I think it was old granny shoes. But if, if I was ever in them, shoot me. Yes. What, what What is the need for those shoes? No. Comfort. If you've got a bit of gout. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. You need really ages to hear people, but I, I, if, if I can still run to Topshop, I will still go. So, Topshop. Awesome. Right. Awesome. The next one. Yumi. Awesome if you like their kind of stuff. Yes. I, I'm not a massive Yumi fan. I used to like Yumi. You but did, the you? past year, I've not liked any of their stuff. No. So I don't really bother with you. I find anymore. Yumi strange. Yes. And so I don't like the materials that they use. No, it itches. Oh, terrible Ooh. materials. The cardigans, the dresses. No. Oh, terrible. Mm. So mm. Yumi mm. is... Awful. Awful. Yeah, I think so. I have to agree. I'm really sorry, Yumi. Yumi's awful. Wallace. Oh, no, River Island. River oh, Island. Sorry. Now, I love River Island jeans. Yeah. I love some of their clothes. You'd think they were virgin on kind of top shop with the age bracket. Yeah, I do. They are. I do not they quite do, do nice sometimes. shirts. Shirts. It's not all too young, is it? No, I think sometimes they are, so, in some respects, slightly older than Topshop because they're not quite as funky. I think so. They're Topshop. not quite, I think Topshop is more, a little bit out there sometimes with their stuff, whereas River Island's a bit more middling. Definitely. So I think, I think for the likes of me and you, there's probably more choice in River there. Island, definitely, as you, yeah. you go progress as well. In fact, one of my really nice team dresses that's like baggy is the River Island dress that I just put that round. So River Island, we're going with awesome. Austin. And it's just great stuff. Austin, that's a really young thing to say, isn't it? Austin. Awesome. Right, Wallace. Never. I don't. I Wallace don't in the go old, into Wallace. Well, see, in the old days, Wallace, in my old days, when I was in my 20s, Wallace used to be quite a funky place. I think it did, and many years ago. Like, yeah. And it's just not the clothes in there or anything. It is old fashioned. It's just not inviting. It's, it's, no, it's just not no, nice. So Wallace, awful. I don't even bother going into Wallace. If I'm looking for an outfit, I'll walk straight past yeah, Wallace. Wallace, awful. Sorry. Wallace, awful. Dotty Perks. Don't go in. It, I think on some occasions it might be getting there. It's in the middle between awesome and awful. I think awful it's the odd me. thing, but I don't. Go I don't go in. I don't go in there and pick up something. Can it feel and nice it's got for that me? Name, and it? Dorothy Perkins. Dorothy. Dorothy. Dorothy Perkins. Mm. Why would you want to buy something from? Ooh, Dorothy Peace. Do you used to say? I know Dorothy Peace, but if you're a designer, let me ask you a question. And you're a marketing. Guru, why would you call something Dorothy Perkins? It doesn't really You might sound as well trendy, call, call it Ethel Gertrude. Ethel Gertie. Gertie Bertie. Dorothy Perkins. Yeah. Ethel awesome. Booth. Let's stick with Let's go to Ethel Booth. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mid Velvet. Awesome. Awesome. But sometimes but expensive. That's... Very expensive. Oh, boots, awesome, awesome pieces. My, my boots are mint velvet, by the way. Oh, if I could buy loads of mint velvet clothes, I would do. But they're too expensive. The only time I buy mint velvet clothes is if they're in the sale. Yeah. So awesome as in I'd buy lots from there. My four pairs of boots are from mint velvet. I can't believe I've got four pairs of boots from mint velvet. I, I never take them off my feet. With all due respect, they never come off my feet. Oh. Mm. So mint velvet, nice. awesome. Miss Selfridge. Oh, for our age... 
I don't know if it's average. Awful. awful. Not it because it's awful for us. No, for but, oh god, it's too young. I can imagine it's taking... belly tops and yeah, yeah, it's younger youth, girls. There. It's teenage. definitely youth. Yeah, no, it's for the for the likes. It's gone. Steph, it's no. Never to grace. I never went to myself. The show is too Yeah, no, sorry, Miss Selfridge. We love your stuff, but it's just not for a four-year-old. No, old. not for us. Where Warehouse. I love oh, Warehouse. Awesome. awesome. Now, warehouse, I think, is for the, the age group, the middle age group. Yeah. I don't think it's... No, I it's think not as youthful as Riverland and Topshop. But it is geared, their marketing is, I think, I, I would say more Warehouse is, is definitely aimed at the 30-year-old something. The yeah, 30 definitely. Something. I would say so too. It's awesome, and I like yeah. their clothes yeah. in there. And they do lovely tea dresses they as well. They do good sales as well. Yes, really good sales. They're a little warehouse. samey. I have to say, it's a little samey sometimes. A yeah. lot of the stuff they churn out is a little samey, mm. if I'm honest. But it's nice samey. Nice samey. So for, you, for you, you safe stuff. Safe if you same. need a top, right? Um, warehouse. Warehouse, that warehouse. Yeah, nice. Right, super dry. No, super dry is, is... Awesome for men. Awesome for men. Yeah. Awesome for, for men. Oh, they do, do nice tea just for the young girls. Yeah, and do Very great, young. Um, great hoodies. Yeah, for when you're keeping fit. It's kind of... But it's not something to be about. For me, but not for the brand. Or no. They're, they're very I love Super Dry. It does amazing man's stuff. I bought, I, I buy John quite a bit of Super yeah, Dry. Definitely. The men's t-shirts are amazing. And could wear forever. Yeah. The female yes. stuff, I don't think you can. Yeah, no, women's stuff. That's the difference. Yeah. It's definitely right. more of Hollister, stuff. which is kind of like Super Dry, but I in know. and out. You Hollister. like Hollister. I can't wear Hollister. I don't... A lot of the only thing I wear of Hollister, the only thing I wear of Hollister is the jeans. I just mm. wear Hollister jeans. I All their tops and stuff are feeling a bit too young. I have mm. just bought some kind of um, vesty, kind of more flowy tops from there for the summer. Um, I buy the odd thing, but I'm not very keen on going in there because it's one of those shops where you feel at one can't point. Hear I can't hear anything, you can't see no, anything. I just feel. And do you know for what? me to go in there trying jeans, at one point they're going to go, really? I went in there, bought a pair of jeans that I thought were grey. I did that, I and they were green. And they were green. I wanted a green pair. I thought I'd just go with this grey pair because they're nice. <laughs> and I got outside, and they were green. Yeah, I don't. I think it's awful. Why I'm sorry. You like the jeans, like but that. I can't even wear the jeans. I always wear the jeans. Gap is awful. Awful. It's it just used to be. chinos and jumpers with gap. It used to be on amazing. Yeah. My staple going out jeans when I was 25 were were boot cut. Gap, hipster jeans, when I had a flat stomach, used to sit just below my belly, perfect, and they were beautiful. And Gap used to be amazing, and it's just gone. Now, this one, can you bring us up? Forever 21. Now, no, the problem me. with Forever 21 is they do amazing sportswear. Yes, they do actually, because, yeah, they do. And I bought some they do stuff in April, just actually. some um, sports leggings, some yeah. sports tops, some gym wear is really reasonably priced mm. and absolutely amazing. But for me, Forever 21, just yeah, the word Forever 21, yeah. I feel as if I walk in there, a staff member would just gently shepherd me back out again <laughs> and go, oh, you seem a bit confused. Oh, oh, oh. Which shop? Were you looking for? They start talking to you yeah. like we're dead. All <laughs> the alert. All the alert. <laughs> so if I want the sports stuff, I actually order it online because I yeah. don't feel like I bring myself to go. If you had a chop for Forever 40, would you actually go in there? <laughs> See, the thing about Forever 21 is it's only like three floors or two floors. I get really confused. Yeah, it's that. It's like, do you know when you go to shop and there's just too much and you don't know where to look? And I'm, like, I'm, I'm just like, I'm stressed. Yeah. Let's try this one. Oasis. Mm. I don't tend to go in there I'm and a, find stuff that I like. I think it's in the middle. I find the cut of Oasis quite frumpy on me. I don't know what it is about Oasis stuff. I think when you first look at something, you think, that's awesome. Then you put it on, you think, nah, it's just frumpy. Yeah, I don't think. I don't, and it's not, I don't know what it is, because they do some nice stuff and stuff. I just don't it's personally middling. find stuff for me. Middling, awesome, awful. Yeah, middling. Now, fat face, right? The only thing, I would say... If you're a surf awful, girl. Yeah, awful, because in that sense, it doesn't suit me. But I buy all of their shorts. Not all of it. If I buy yeah. my shorts, I buy them from Fat Face. They do the most amazing chino kind of short shorts. shorts. Short shorts, chino it, in all sorts of colours. Um, and I've got a really nice, like, rusty kind of pair. Mm. Um, and I've just like the chino colour pair. And I find them, just with vests, I just find them really lovely But do you wear. know what I find? The shorts are difficult in our age. You know when we talked about men's jeans? Yeah. Fat face tends to do jeans at mum's jeans. They're um, very non-shapely. Yeah. 
So I'm going to say awesome for fat face because if it wasn't for fat face, I don't know where I'd buy my shorts. Seriously. I don't. Laura Ashley. Mm. Twin set and pearls. That's for your sofas, isn't it? Laura That's for your Ashley. Chairs. Yeah. I th do you know what? I, to be honest, if I'm being real, if you are a 60 year old lady who has a beautiful figure who still wants to look classy. Look at that. Classy. Mm, goody, aren't Oh, even a young Laura Ashley is the best place that. to go. What? All the big lines. Laura Ashley is the best place to go. Yes. Because it's elegant, it's classy, but it's definitely more the elegance and classy and chic of a 60 year old lady who wants to stay youthful on the youthful side of 60. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Because it has beautiful lines, beautiful cuts, but it is. I definitely close, think it's. Just, for the older generation Definitely. wanting to look yeah. like they're not from One day we'll meet sense. each other in there. We will do. We're going to say, hey, 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 60. Right. Now, uh, H&M, can I just point out? H &M, awful. You have to buy two sizes bigger if you buy into H&M. Awful. H &M. If you are like that. You have to buy. You if you like you that. Can't. And, and really it comes tall. to just like here. And yeah. you go, oh, I'll have like next size up here, next size up. And you, their sizing is absolutely, they're awful. going to be awful for that reason. Awful. The reason why they're also awful is they do a big range of stuff. But for me, if I buy stuff from there, it's kind of a one season and then it washes. Yeah. It's cheap, like good, reasonably priced. Yeah. But I think things just don't last. If you if if I'm having a day at work where we have to wear something yellow, I go into H&M to buy some something cheap. yellow because you know you will cheap, buy something from um, there. A cheap t-shirt yeah. that's yellow. I have never... In all the years, H&M has been open something coffee, been able to buy anything from there for myself. I see people who do, but the people who do, I would tend to be very tall and bean pole like. I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean, I mean slim. Because you can wear, the, the, the materials are thin and stuff, it's and you can really, wear it okay. Yeah, and do you know what? It's interesting though, because my mum always said this. I'm sure I'm only five foot one, and I'm not skinny. I never will be. I think even if I stopped eating, I still wouldn't be skinny. I, I'm, always gonna be, yeah, I'm always going to be, I'm always going to be a curvaceous on one level or another. We can't wear cheap clothes. No. Nope. Because they hang in a really bad place. In the, and, and that's sad for me in some respects because I can't walk into nature and just buy something. And that's what I think as you get older. And I wish as I well. could because it's expensive. I think as you get older, that's a rule as well. It, absolutely, I don't think you can buy cheap stuff. I don't think you can buy cheap older. stuff. No. As you get older, you have to buy things that you can wear and wear again. But yeah. You and it has to be good quality material good that quality hangs in definitely. the right place. Yeah. Right, you come up with one. I don't think I've even <laughs> ventured in there. What is Roman? Roman's in Tottenham Court. There is one, isn't there? Yes, Roman. But I've never been in because the name oh, puts me off. <laughs> oh, I bought this from Roman. Yeah, Roman. Roman, if you walk past it, ladies and gentlemen, Roman is like that shop that everything is like maxi dress baggy with those big, bright, bold prints. So everything's like that. So it's like big, bright, bold print shirts or big, bright, bold pink skirts or big, bright, bold pink skirts. That's a big, bright, 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 bright. bright. And it's, it's very much, I wonder if that's why it's called Roman, because in the Roman days you wore, to, you wore togas. So perhaps it should be, togas. be it's togas in there, they yeah, say togas. togas. They say so Roman. Different Awful. material togas. I wouldn't care how old you were, do not go, Don't to, Roman. go to Roman. And Summers. Right, yes. Right, and Summers, let me just tell you this people, we're not talking about the rude side of Anne Summers, which is also amazing. Um, I'm talking <laughs> about that. that. Anne Summers sales, if, if you need a sale and just want a nice pretty bra and a cassette, Really good sales. They have excellent they sales. They do fabulous underwear. They do do. And they do beautiful bras and beautiful knickers. But how small. many people are brave enough to walk in there? Like I do in there all the time and I take even. I keep it at the front yeah, section because yeah. it's the back section that's got, well, not that I know, it's the back section that's got the, you know. Yeah. But also what you don't realise, if you go to Anne Summers online, they actually do very nice bikinis. Oh. And they're not that expensive. Yeah. They do actually do. And I almost bought one, um, but I, again, I felt I was slightly too young for it. Beautiful, cerise pink. You were slightly too young. I, no, sorry, it was slightly too young for me. Mate, cerise right. pink, so bright pink. The colour that, that would suit me, like really bright pink. And outside of it, they looked... Let me tell you, I'm, I'm going to go off at a tangent here, but you know when you wear knickers? Yeah. And knickers that have got a big, thick, elastic, but beautiful lace band yeah. tend to sit flat against your stomach and make mm. you look really slim. Yeah. High yeah. leg, yes. you can't find bikinis like that. And mm -hmm. if the bikini was cut like that, your bikinis would always look lovely on you. Definitely. And Summers do a bikini just like that. Oh. And it was cerise pink with bright pale blue bikini edging in thick lace that come up here, hides your tummy, 
But I looked at them and thought, it did look very much like I'd got knickers and a bra, but it was beautiful. And the cut on me, hide my baby, baby belly, had the high legs, but pro, not revealing, made my legs look longer. I was just a little unsure that I felt like, mm, I want a beautiful, really beautiful. So surprise yourself with an Anne Summers, awful. awful. We're going to run out of time for our lady. We are, aren't we? Um, Anne Summers, awesome. surprise yourself, awesome. All right, thank you for listening, of us thinking what we thought was awesome. Yes, and right. honestly, if you have any ideas and tell us where to shop, please tell us. Yes. <coughs> Is there <coughs> other places? Is there other places? We don't know about them, I'm sure there are. <laughs>